Yeah, you better buy you know this big hat, you know, with yeah. furs. <laughs> oh my. Is it like a rainy season here? Is it usually rainy? Sometimes it doesn't rain at all. It's in December. Mm -hmm. so. hmm. We don't. I mean, it, it depends. Sometimes. So the symptoms I had from the disease when I was younger was throwing up 10 to 12 times a day. Um, I felt weak, like in the morning. I was on like 52 to 54 pills a day um, with eye drops that I would take uh, twice a day. The only thing I really had trouble with was this, um, the smell. The smell is from the, the medicine and some people say it smells like, uh, like sometimes people say rotten milk almost and some people say like cheese. The treatment will be a long-term one-time treatment uh, that will be, you know, will, that will prevent the progression of the disease uh, for the life of the patient. But that's why you have to also remove the clamps so like that, you know, all the, they can access all the cells. We use, we use it so it looks like that. We try to, you know, break up, you know, the, the clamps. So, that they are so what we're doing is basically putting in a corrected copy of the gene so they can make the normal protein and therefore we correct the disease. We might be able to prevent it, halt it, or slow it. It's really been the last 10 years we've seen really phenomenal leaps and bounds in the world of gene therapy in general. Uh, and I think really what it is, is, you know, it's been a sheer onslaught. There are so many clinical trials out there, so it's hundreds of clinical trials in the US alone. I see that I have a life basically now. I'm going to school. Um, I'm hopefully going to open up my own business one day and I'm just super excited about it.